Okay, we're looking at mixed exercise um, seven from the first year core textbook. And on question 15, so we're moving on to proofs now. Um, and this, yeah, this one's quite an interesting one to look at. Let's put the screen up. Okay, um, right. So the key thing here um, is ideally you want, you want to be rearranging the left-hand side to get it to the right-hand side, to get it to equal the right-hand side. Um, so if I, so before I tackle the question um, they've given us, I'm gonna write down actually a different looking question because this is actually the same technique. So for the question I have just written down, if you spot that that numerator is the difference of two squares and you factorize it, you could then cancel through by a minus b and you would be left with a plus b. So the question they've given you is actually a bit trickier than that, but it is the same structure. So um, on the one I did, I had, sorry, let's, let's finish writing this out before I start. Okay, so this is the question that, that they've given us, right? So on the one I did, um, I had a and a squared, and on the one they've given us, we've got root x and x, but the relationship there is still the same x is root x squared and then root y so y is root y squared so although they look quite different and as i said the one you've been given is is harder for sure um they are actually the same structure which means i could oh, pen, um, i could factorize that numerator to root x minus root y times root x plus root y and then, like I did previously, I can cancel through by root x minus root y, and I've got the result that I'm trying to prove. Okay, so not an easy one, that one. Your alternative, um, so I said normally you want to try and you know, rearrange the left-hand side to show that it equals the right-hand side. If you did struggle with that, because that was quite a hard one to spot, um, your alternative starting point, I guess, would have been um, to multiply up by the um, numerator, sorry, by the denominator. So you had root x plus root y on the right-hand side. So if you multiplied up by root x minus root y and then expanded those brackets out and showed that, that you got x minus y when you expanded those brackets out, as long as you were clear, that, that should be acceptable as well. Just quickly check how they've done it. Um, yeah, so actually they're sort of sort of almost on a combination of the two. Okay, as long as you're clear and you're working, you should be fine. 